Welcome back. In this video, we are going to customize Bootstrap and you're going to do this by overriding some of the Bootstrap defaults so that you can achieve the needs that you want on our project. And to achieve that, I'm going to create a custom search file, which I'm going to keep all the variables that I want to override. And this is because it is not good practice to modify or edit the Bootstrap core files. According to Bootstrap, here on the file structure, it says whenever possible, avoid modifying Bootstrap core files. For SAS, that means creating your own style sheet that imports Bootstrap so you can modify and extend it. The next thing is to make sure that you have a file structure similar like the one you have here on the page. So here you have your project folder and then the SSS folder which is going to keep all the SAS files including that custom SAS file. And then you have the Bootstrap core files inside the node modules. And this is the structure that you have already created in our project. So let's go ahead and create this custom file. So inside the SSS folder, I'm going to create that SAS file or that custom SAS file. And I'm going to create a partial. So it will have an underscore. And the underscore lets us know that the file is only a partial and it should not be generated into a CSS file. So we have the underscore and then custom.scss. So this is the file that you're going to copy all the variables that you want to override, including the bootstrap itself. So there are two options of importing Bootstrap depending on what you want to achieve. We have the first option, which is by importing the entire Bootstrap, which has everything. And the second option is by importing only the parts that you need. So if you're going to use the second option, that means you're going to import some of the requirements and dependencies like functions, variables, and mixins. So let's go ahead and import the entire Bootstrap. So inside the custom.scss file, I'm going to start with a comment, and that is import bootstrap so here we have the import rule and then we have the node modules we have bootstrap scss and then the main bootstrap file which is bootstrap.scss and then i'm going to close that with a semicolon and then i'm going to save so the next thing now is to import this file to our main sas file which is the style.scss this is the file which is going to be compiled to CSS. So we have the use at rule and then the custom. And I'm going to close that with a semicolon and then save. So here I have a file called theming kit, which you're going to see some of the overrides that you're going to do in this file. So I'm going to open that and then link it with that style sheet, which is style.css. So this file has some of the bootstrap components like the navbar, buttons, tables that are using the, some of those variables like the primary and the secondary colors. So we have the link and then we have assets folder, CSS and then style.css. So I'm going to save that file and then you're going to see the real changes that you're going to do in that file. So now you can see we have the navbar, which is using the primary color as the blue, and that is the default. We have the buttons also using the primary color as blue. We have the header. We have the alerts. We have the table using the table border as the primary color. So those are some of the things that you're going to override in the custom file. So the next thing now you have to do is to copy some of the things that you want to override. The colors, remember here, we have used the blue. The blue is the default. So we're going to copy them from the bootstrap variables file, which can be found inside the node modules. And then we have the bootstrap, SSS, and then down here we have the variables file. So I'm going to open that. So here you can see the primary color is assigned to that blue color as the default. So I'm going to start with the gray colors and the white color. So I'm going to copy the entire gray, white, and black colors to my custom. So first I'm going to write a comment, white and gray colors. So then again, we need to remove the default flag. Once you copy, you must remove the default flag. So I'm going to select all of them and then save. 
So let's copy also the primary so that we can assign it our theme colors, the one we have used in our layout. So before you copy the primary, we need to copy also the purple and the pink colors. And that one I'm going to copy them at the top of that file. So my theme colors. Paste. And then let's copy also the primary and the secondary color. So those are the two colors that we need. Others can remain as default. So here we're going to sign our primary color to that purple. And then for our secondary color, we're going to change that to the pink color. So also this one, we need to remove the defaults. And then I'm going to save. We are going to see the real changes. So now as you can see our dim, Deming kit has changed the colors. So now from blue to purple and also a secondary color from gray 900 to the pink. So, but this is not the color that you have used in our layout. So again, if you check from our layout, so we have this purple and this pink and these are different hex values. So I have them here on my notepad. So we're going to assign them to our gray color and our pink color. So let's start with the purple and this one I'm going to modify a bit. I'm going to call it purple dark because I have two colors. So I'm going to duplicate that and then change from dark to light. So for the first color, I have it here. This is my theme color. So I'm going to copy, paste. We have the second color, copy. paste and then the pink color copy paste and then here we need to assign that color which is purple dark and then I'm going to save let's see the overrides in our theming kit dot html so you can see now our theming kit has reflected the colors that we have changed so these are the colors that I've used on our layout so again if you check here from the layout we need to do another override and that is the accordion buttons for collapsing so you can see here the default is what we have here on the theme kit we have this this chevron up and then the chevron down so we need to replace that with our custom buttons which is the plus and the dash circle. So just like we did with the colors, I'm going to do the overrides for the accordion variable. So let's copy that variable to our custom. So inside the variables, I'm going to search for that accordion variable. So I'm going to write accordion. And here you'll see we have a number of accordion variables. So first I'm going to copy the, the variables responsible for the colors of the icons and here we have the accordion icon color and another one which is accordion icon active color so these are the two variables responsible for the icon colors so i'm going to copy the two and then inside my custom first i'm going to write a comment so we have the accordion overrides And then for the accordion icon color, I'm going, I'm going to assign it to our primary color. So that is the primary variable. And then for the active icon, I'm going to assign it our secondary color. So that is the secondary variable. Then we're going to copy another variable, which is the variable for the icons. So we have the two variables, which is the accordion button icon, which has this SVG icon for the Chevron app. So if you look properly here, you'll see we have the SVG code for that Chevron app. 
and then for the active icon we have the chevron down so i'm going to copy the two variables and then you're going to replace the icons with the plus icon and the dash circle so inside the custom i'm going to replace and then remove the default flag And then you're going to replace uh, this SVG code with the plus icon code. So the question is, where are we going to get the SVG code? So there are so many sources that you can get the SVG code, but I highly recommend that you use the bootstrap icons. So you can go to icons.getbootstrap.com. So here you're going to search for the icons that you're going to replace with the default, which is the Chevron up and Chevron down. So here I'm going to start with the first icon. For the chevron up and i'm going to replace that with the plus icon so i'm going to just type plus so here you'll see the different versions of the plus icon and we are only interested with the one with the circle and we have the plus circle so i'm going to click on that icon and here you'll see the different ways of using this icon and you're only interested with the svg code so i'm going to copy the html code for that uh, icon and then I'm going to paste it on my notepad. So here we're going to replace the dimension code. So I'm going to copy for the, you have, you can see here we have the two paths. So I'm going to copy the path for the first dimension or the dimension for the first path. And then I'm going to replace the chevron up. So where we have the dimension, only replace that. I'm going to select it and then paste then i'm going to copy the second path the entire path and then again i'm going to paste it here and then you need to remove the double quotes and replace that with a single quote double quote replace that with a single quote I'm going to save that file and then I'm going to check from our theming kit. So here you can see it has already replaced or done the override for that icon. You can see now we have the plus circle. So let's go ahead and replace the second one, which is the chevron down with the dash circle. So again, just like we did, you're going back to the search. And here you're going to search for that circle or for that uh, dash circle. So here I'm going to type dash circle. So we have the dash circle. And here we have it. So again, you have different ways of using this icon. We are only interested with HTML code for that SVG. So copy again on my notepad. So just like we did, I'm going to copy the dimension only for the first path. And then again, I'm going to replace for the second icon, which is the chevron down. Paste. And then the, copy the second path, the entire path. And then again here, paste. Remove the double quotes and replace that with a single quote single quote and then save so let's see the overrides on our theming kit and there you have it you can see it has replaced that now we have the dash circle for the active and the plus circle for the inactive icon so i think we're done with that part the only thing we can do is just add some we can increase the font size of the icon. So again, you're going to copy the variables or the variable for that icon. So here on the variables file, you can see we have that variable for that icon width. So I'm going to copy the accordion icon width. Copy to a custom. So I'm going to replace the default, which is 1.255 rem with 
875 rem save check on the browser and there you have it you can see now it has increased the width of the icon and that is exactly what we have on our layouts so i think we are done with that part